a professor measures the amount of time needed to complete a quiz for a sample of 35 students. However, one of the students fails to finish the test, so the professor must record an undetermined score. What is the best measure of central tendency for these data? Is it the mean, the median, the mode, or central tendency cannot be determined for these data? All right, so let's imagine what the data might look like. Um, maybe for this quiz, uh, students only had a total of 20 minutes until the class was finished. And so the first student took only 10 minutes, and then the next one took 12, the next one took 15, and then somebody took 18. And then finally, uh, the class ended, and there was a student who failed to finish. So they go down as undetermined. All that we know is that they took, they hadn't finished when everybody else had. So they were going to take longer if they were given enough time to finish the test, but they weren't. So we don't have an actual value. So that helps us, that fact helps us to get rid of the mean as an option. Now with the mean, even though ideally we like to use the mean whenever possible in statistics, the reason being that the mean adds up each and every score and divides by the number of all scores. So the mean is a statistic where or in this case, for a, if it's a population, I would call it a parameter. The mean is a, is a measure of every single one of my scores that I've, that I've looked at in my study. And ideally, that's what we want to do. We want to include all of our data. But we can't work out the mean here because you can't find the sum of x when one of your recorded values is not a numerical value. So the mean is out. Now the median is going to be the correct choice. Why the median and why not the mode? Well, first of all, we don't have a mode, but even if we did have a mode, let's say that there was two 18s. Even if we had a mode, the data here, um, the numerical data here can be put into order. And we like to pr try to preserve as much information about the data as possible. And so the fact that we can put the data in order, we should stick with that. Now, you might be thinking, this data here can't really be put into order. This is not a numerical value, but it can. We know that this person had not yet finished when this person here took 18 minutes. So they were going to take longer. So this is the shortest amount of time. That's the first person to finish, the second person to finish, the third, the fourth, and this person comes in last, even though they didn't get an actual value. So there is still some information here. Um, I have to decide what to do with this. Let's say that this is just the original 15. So this is the middle point right here. This is my median. And so the median is the right choice.